So starting off the base tour, we got our front two doors as an airlock, just one door facing outwards. Very simple to do. If we jump up on this race foundation we can, and open the door, we can place our research table. Since it has no durability, we can pick it up with a hammer and we place it whenever we want. Same can be done with the repair bench. Coming down to the drop, we've got a furnace, barbecue, small box, and a campfire. This is all, all our living stuff. We have two more furnaces, our sleeping bag, TC, barbecues, small boxes, large boxes, and our workbench. These two wood triangles I used as makeshift shelves. On top, there's another three large boxes. This is a cost per 24 hours, so it's really cheap. So, starting off with the base build. We put one triangle and then two raised triangles. Make sure the, b the bottom triangle is raised from the floor quite a bit. You do well need to put a furnace and barbecue there. Just put your walls like that, and your foundations, you put door frames, and another wall. Just encapsulate the second the, the back of the base off with walls and add then your two half walls. Now you can just start doing the roof. You can upgrade this to any material, especially the bunker. I'm just gonna stay um, with stone. So it's just the most the easiest to get at the start of the game. And this is a starter bunker, so do not upgrade this triangle since we will remove that. The server is a bit laggy, so uh, sorry that it's not instant when I click. Put your doors in. Make sure the back door is facing out, out the way, so we've got that airlock. And put in your TC. Now we just need two more half walls and the bunker is finished. So remove this triangle, put your first half wall, put a twig half wall and an actual half wall that you upgrade the stone, removing the twig. So you remove the triangle foundation here, so you're now you're going to put in items. You're going to put in your furnace in first, then your small box and barbecue, and campfire last since it's easiest to place. Just make sure you can still place the half wall needed for the bunker. So obviously uh, the inside, the interior of the base is completely upon you. And, uh, you can do that however you want. That's why I did it. It's quite efficient this way and it's also quite simple to place in the boxes. So I'm just going to place a twig half wall and then two triangle floors. Uh, just upgrading them to wood and breaking the, uh, breaking the half wall. This is where I'd put the workbench. Here I'd put a large box and then a small box just on this uh, raised triangle foundation. These do have to be quite perfect to be honest. You have to go behind the wall to place this half uh, this small box, so like that. And your two large boxes you can place horizontally like vertically, sort of. Just like that. And then your last one, snug with a wall. Place one small box on the end of the of the triangle. This second one is quite difficult to put on so you have to put in your furnaces first. That's what I found to be easiest. The placement of these doesn't have to be perfect. Jumping on the furnaces you can put in the small box. Down here you can put your um, your camp, your barbecue sorry. Um, you can also put another large box next to the uh, next to the workbench, just like so. Try to get the placement perfect, since you will have to put small boxes beside them. Barbecues will go like this. We'll have three barbecues here, and then four small boxes underneath them. One in the corner there, and then one small box underneath each of the barbecues. This gives us a lot, a lot of storage space. Um, it's quite good. Pop your bag in, and that's you finished.
hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, show this to your friends if you think they'll benefit from it. Um, tell me what you think of the actual video, of the editing. This is my first time editing on Premiere. So uh, tell me if you liked it, and uh, that'll be it. Thanks.